This is the BSA Super 10, pre-charged pneumatic air rifle. It's available in both rifle and carbine versions, and it's also available in a bull barrel version of both the rifle and the carbine. The gun has an air supply contained in this 200cc bottle, which is charged either by a pump or a scuba tank. It's a regulated gun. The regulator governs the consistency of the shots and makes it a very accurate air rifle. It has a manual safety catch. The, front, the forward position, with the red dot showing, being the fire position the rear position being the safe position. It has a match grade adjustable two-stage trigger, a bolt action, a 10-shot magazine, and an adjustable butt pad. Make sure that the gun is empty, remove the magazine, and ensure that there is not a pellet in the breech. To use the gun, you simply cock the bolt, bringing it all the way back and down into the rear position, and then take it forward, the gun is now ready to fire. To remove the magazine for loading, the bolt has to be withdrawn and put into the rearward down position. The magazine can then be lifted from the gun for loading. Once loaded, it is returned into the magazine tray. The bolt moved forward which puts a pellet into the breech and the gun is ready for use. This gun has a safety feature, which is a deadlock, which incapacitates the trigger in certain circumstances. This can happen when, when loading the gun, if the bolt is not brought all the way back, the trigger will go into deadlock and I'll demonstrate that. If I bring the bolt back halfway and forward, the trigger locks solid. If this happens, remember that there is already a pellet in the breech and that by withdrawing the bolt and pushing it forward again, another pellet will be loaded behind the first. So, should this happen, bring the bolt up and back, lock it down in the rear position, remove the magazine, put the bolt into the fire position and shoot the gun. This will allow you to shoot the pellet that's in the breech the magazine can then be returned to its housing and the gun is ready to continue shooting with. The other point that I need to cover is filling the bottle. The bottle has an O-ring on the top of it which seals it against the housing for the regulator. If that O-ring becomes damaged, a leak will occur and the bottle will empty. It's therefore very important to follow a procedure when taking the bottle off the gun, and this is what we do. We unscrew the bottle approximately one turn. By doing that, the needle valve in the top of the regulator will allow the valve in the top of the bottle to close. I'm then gonna fire the gun about half a dozen times. And what we should hear is the sound of those shots getting quieter. I'm glad that's happened because what it allows me to do is just to explain that on some guns, the position and the amount of turns that you have to undo the bottle will vary. So with this gun, I'm gonna give it another three quarters of a turn and I'm gonna repeat the process. You can now hear that the shot has become almost silent. And at the same time, the bottle is now loose on the regulator threads. That's because the valve has been allowed to close. There is no pressure between the bottle and the regulator, and that bottle can now be unscrewed for refilling. Once the bottle has been filled, it's replaced on the gun, 
and turned until it starts to bite. At that point, turn it one more full turn and the gun will then be ready to shoot again because the needle valve is opened, air has gone from the bottle into the regulator and the regulator is charged. With regulated guns you will sometimes hear the noise of air moving from the bottle into the regulator after shooting. So after each shot you may hear a slight hiss or the sound of the, the air moving through the chambers. It's nothing to worry about, it's perfectly normal. The BSA Super 10.